So today is our surprise wedding. Nobody knows what's going on except for a couple of friends from out of town and a few family members who had to be in the know. There's a few key people who do know, but uh, yeah, we're getting hitched. Basically, yeah, we are planning an engagement dinner. Everybody is showing up under the premise that we're going to ask people to be in our wedding and <laughs> we're just gonna get married. <laughs> How long have you guys been planning this? Uh, I want to say about two months now. Don't quote me on the dates. <laughs> I don't really remember if it was me or if it was Mike or... I feel like it was probably one of those things where we both were just like, oh my gosh, this is hilarious, let's do it. It was a joint venture, but Mallory was um, the one who really wanted to drive home the whole surprise idea. So Mike and I were talking about wedding plans. We both always said we didn't want a real big wedding. We wanted a small wedding. And after we got engaged, we thought, let's just, let's just go for it. I don't have the wedding planning gene in me. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I look at wedding dresses and think they're absolutely beautiful on other people. <laughs> I don't see myself in a big wedding gown and we thought it would be so much fun to kind of do the element of surprise and do something different. Uh, I got like a nervous excitement. And so I guess I am trying to find my words and uh, put it sum it all, um, I guess articulately, but I just have a nervous excitement going on. So I, I've been looking forward to this day and uh, can't wait for it to be official. Today is actually our three year anniversary. Three years ago today we met. Today is the first day that we met. Uh, 1123 of 2012. Uh, so we thought, what better way than to get married on our three year anniversary? Every time I practice my vows, who is it? I don't know, I just want to get it. Oh, okay. Oh, um, maybe you want to get this? I don't know. I don't know. <gasps> oh my god, no, you're not here. You're not here. The waterfalls. <laughs> what? Surprise, I wanted to crash your party. Oh my God. <laughs> so this is my um, aunt slash uncle, Vicky. <laughs> lives, in, lives in Arizona. We posed it as a engagement party. So the people who are invited are our close family and our friends who are gonna be uh, involved in the wedding. So our bridal party. Uh, and so uh, that's how we fronted it. We have my boss who is also a preacher who's going to be part of that surprise as well. So we invited her and the premise that we established is we're gonna introduce her to all of our friends and family and say, hey, this is gonna be our uh, pastor who is gonna officiate the wedding. And so she's gonna come up and say, well, since we have everyone here, let's do it now. And then boom, surprise. I'm shaking right now. Well, the nice thing is we have each other. We do. Again, I wanted to ask you to be able to, uh, again, officiate uh, Mallory and I's wedding. Well, I'm honored. I'm honored. I don't even know what to say, but why not just do it now? You have all your family and friends here. I'm ordained. You're here. Mallory's here. Why couldn't we just do it now? How, what do you guys think about it. that? Is that a good idea? There should be some pretty interesting reactions. Um, I think my dad will probably be in a state of shock. My mom will go into an absolute tizzy. Uh, everybody else will be saying, what, what's happening? And we'll just be standing in front laughing. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Those that God has joined together, let no man tear apart. Amen. Amen. I'm going to have you, uh, you guys have been waiting. This is the best part ever. <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. Michael, you may kiss you. Her strength, you know, her intellect, her her wit. I think her strength is probably my 
uh, favorite part because she's she has a strength that uh, I feel as though I need. Oh gosh, everything. He is so much fun to be around. He is in so many ways exactly like me and in so many ways the exact opposite. <laughs> and that's what makes it perfect because where I'm crazy, he's sane. <laughs> and where he's sane, or where he's crazy, I'm sane. Um, but just a little bit. I'm mostly the crazy in the situation. I need someone who um, is convicted in, in her beliefs and will stand her ground if she does truly believe in it. Because me, if I can get my way, I'll definitely <laughs> take advantage of that. But yeah, she keeps me grounded. She keeps me low. He's just so much fun to be around. I always say we've just had this whirlwind relationship. From day one when I met him, we were just inseparable. We couldn't get enough of each other. We had to always be around one another. So it's just everything about him makes me smile, makes me happy. I can't get enough of the guy. If I had a magic ball or, you know, uh, uh, what's yeah, that fortune. ball? Yeah, yeah, fortune. Yeah, fortune, yeah. If I had that, I mean, honestly, I probably wouldn't look in it because I love the path that we're on right now. Definitely kids are gonna be in the near future. She's driven that home, that point home. Just continue to just live this blessed life. I mean, every single day with Mallory is, is truly a blessing. She definitely does make me a better person. And I hear that I do the same. And so we're just gonna continue to just stay on this path uh, because it's been working for us.